Thanks, Valerie. Well, some of the most beautiful paintings in the world have been added to all our own treasures at the Cincinnati Art Museum. It's going on right now. The late works of Claude Monet are on display, at least a handful of them. And to tell us about it is Benedict Lecca, a curator at the museum. Thanks for coming in, Benedict. Thanks so much for having nice me. Nice to be with you. And I've seen the exhibit. I absolutely love it. Uh, the biggest piece uh, are the, the, the sort of pinkish purple uh, water lilies in two frames. What's that called? Uh, Wisteria 1 and 2. Wisteria 1 and collection. 2. From private collection. That's right. And I'm struck by, uh, to me, it, it just epitomizes the impressionist approach in that, it, you know, it almost looks like the painter was squinting. And if you step back far enough, you just see swaths of color. But when you get closer, you can really see those water lilies, can't you? Well, in that, in the case of that particular picture, they're not water lilies, they're wisteria. Excuse me, uh, that's wrong right. flower. <laughs> Uh, that's true. That would be a garland. Uh, that picture was meant to hang above the series of water lilies that uh, are uh, located at the um, Orangerie in Paris. Okay. And just talk about the style of Impressionism. Mostly deals with the outdoors, usually a body of water around, and sunlight. Uh, that's right. The Impressionists, of course, uh, essentially naturalist painters, uh, very much interested in shifting atmospheric conditions, light effects, the different seasons. Uh, so inevitably, they're they're great colorists, as Monet is, of course, uh, and they're very interested in outdoor painting, uh, as as you mentioned, and uh, picturesque motifs. And so. it was revolutionary at the time. After all these years of inside painting really detailed figures they go outside they throw the rule book out some people need to realize that when they go to see these paintings how revolutionary they were don't they that's right and that is the point that i made with the gainsborough exhibition a few years ago we are so conditioned to look at these paintings and revere them as uh, great masterpieces in the art history books where in fact they were radical paintings in the context of their making so that's true sure a lot of the establishment looked at them and said what are you kidding me the museum has its own Monet, which is beautiful, those cliffs. Oh, uh, that's right. What's that called? Uh, the uh, Belle-Ile at Porte de Moi. So it's uh, in the northern coast of, um, of France, in Brittany. That was already, Monet was already living in Giverny, but he would take jaunts in various places. Uh, he goes to, I believe, Norway in 1995. Uh, he goes to Venice in 1908. So, um, sure. Um, that was near the end. I think he stopped traveling in 11 or so and dies in 26. That's right. Glad I got you to say a little French for us. He's originally from France, as you can tell. And you can check out the Monet exhibit for yourself at the Cincinnati Art Museum. The exhibit runs now until the middle of May. Benedict, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. After the break, a final check on your top stories and your Power of Five forecast, a live look through CityCam. The sun is up. Valerie Abatey will run down your forecast.